guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're in a little bit of a different setup. I'm sitting on my bed because I am just so tired and I couldn't be bothered with doing like a full face of makeup. I didn't even fill in my eyebrows. It's just one of those days I'm feeling really, really lazy and sleepy, but I still wanted to get this video out for you guys. Today I'm going to be filming the Holy Grail product video. I'm going to be leaning more towards the like if all my makeup disappeared, but these are just like my favorite products, my essential products, the products that I will always have on hand. Like if I were to put together a makeup bag of all the products that I could keep in my life, it would be these products right here. So I've actually put them in a bag and I'm going to take you through all of my must-have essential holy grail products. I even included brushes in this. So this is going to be a long one. This is going to be a chatty one. So sit back, sit tight, grab a glass of tea or coffee, whatever Jeff you. I'm going to go in the order that I would apply them to my face. So the first product that I absolutely must have is a BB cream. I love to use foundations, but for the most part on a day-to-day -day basis, I do gravitate more towards a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. The one I'm loving right now is is the Bosha BB cream. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think it's working miracles on my skin, but I'm not going to say that this could be my holy grail product of all time because, you know, something better could come along, but like right now I am loving this one and I always have to have something just to even out the skin tone. I have two concealers that I have repurchased time and time again and they are absolutely essential for me and that is the Bobbi Brown Corrector and the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use this in the shade Porcelain Bisque and this in the shade Vanilla. These two products just really mesh with my skin very well. I put this underneath the eyes and then use this to conceal all over the face and any redness, zits, whatever. This combo for me is a must have. I have repurchased this. I don't even know. I've probably repurchased like six or seven of these concealers. And I think that this is my third or fourth pot of this guy. It's just, they're just products that I always go back to. They're my fail safe and I absolutely love them. Lately, I'm finding that I also require a face powder. Now, the favorite that I use for the most part is my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural, but I don't actually have that in the vicinity. I think it's in my car. There's no way in hell I'm going to my car to get it. But I thought I'd just toss this one out there because I do use this one a lot as well. It's the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Just like any face powder, I must have a face powder just to set everything in and take care of my oily nose. You guys know I can't live without my contour. And my most favorite contouring product of all time is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. The formula and the shade of this is just absolutely spot on. It's definitely very pricey. It's the same price as a palette. So if you wanted to buy the Kat Von D Contour Palette, you could definitely do that. Actually, I guess it would kind to be a tie between this and the Kat Von D one because that one also has setting powders so hmm I mean really I just need a contouring product you guys know this is a long time favorite of mine and the Kat Von D shade and light face palette is also like getting up there in the favorites but I just need contour must have a contouring powder another essential product for me is a bronzer now I have two bronzers here I have the NARS Laguna bronzer and then also the Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow the NARS Laguna bronzer is a product I have purchased over and over and over again the one thing I hate about it is that it does get used up so quickly like there's not a lot of product in there it's just the perfect amount of glow for your face. It's just a really, really nice shade for those of us with pale skin because you can go deeper with it or have a really nice light layer of bronze. But I also wanted to toss in the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow because though it's a product I don't use often on my channel, I don't use it often because it's so expensive. I don't want to use it up and I do save it for special occasions. But this again is just one of those perfect bronzing slash contouring products that you can have. And then you also get a highlighter in here. And it's just one of those products that you put it on and you know you're going to feel beautiful. Like it's just going to work every time you put it on your face. So I would say that this is an essential product for me, but I use it sparingly because it is so expensive and I'm always scared to run out of it and have to repurchase it. Some kind of bronzing product, those two are my favorites. Now I didn't include a blush because I do find myself on an everyday basis not going towards a blush. Like a blush, I kind of go through phases. I'll go through phases where I like must have a blush on my face or just like today where I can live with bronzer. I can live without blush. I can't live without bronzer, you know what I mean? So I just decided to not include a blush in this video for those of you who are going to ask that. Now I'm just going to jump right into an eyeshadow palette. The one eyeshadow palette that I actually can't live without. It's just the one palette that does it all for me. I can do so many different kinds of looks with it. I can't live without my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I haven't tried the Naked Basics 2 because this one just has it all for me. It's got your perfect transition-y shades. It's got your highlight and there's a black in there. As you can see, I mix these two together a whole lot. It's just the product I always travel with. It's the product I always go for. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette 
of all. For eyebrows, you guys know that my two favorite products are the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I have the shade Taupe and then also the Clear Brow Gel. I just love the Anastasia Brow products. I just don't want to stray from them because they just do my brows perfectly and they are my favorite, again, products that I have purchased time and time again. Now there seems to be a lot of controversy with this next holy grail product of mine and that is the Lancome Hypno Star Mascara. A lot of you guys tell me that there are drugstore dupes. I've tried the Maybelline ones, I've tried Rimmel, I've tried a whole bunch. I spent my whole life using drugstore mascaras until the day that I used this and I have pretty much never looked back. I've tried other ones. The Tarte mascaras are really nice. The Clinique High Impact mascara is really nice as well. But there is just something about this mascara for those of you who are seeking volume like I am. I have quite long lashes to begin with so I really like a mascara that just like oomps up the volume big time. I don't even know how many times I've purchased this mascara. It is absolutely amazing. My favorite part about it is that it doesn't flake off. I find that so many mascaras, especially with drugstore mascaras, kind of the tips of them tend to flake off during the day and you'll get little flickety flakes flaking all around. And this one just doesn't do that. It just stays on your lashes all day long until you're ready to take it off. It's an amazing formula. And it also lasts a really long time. Like I can have this mascara up to four months before it starts to dry out, which is something that I love about it. It's like you can spend $10 on a drugstore mascara and it'll start to dry out within like three weeks. Or I can spend $30 on this mascara and have it last me for three or four months. So it's kind of the same thing. I just really truly haven't tried a mascara that has amazed me as much as this one has. Another product that I could not live without, my holy grail product, is the MAC Chromographic Pencil in the shade NC15 NW20. I did used to use the Rimmel Nude Eyeliner, but it was just not long lasting on me. I have very, very watery eyes, and this is the only um, eyeliner product that I have found that actually lasts all day long in my waterline. I do need a nude liner for my waterline in my life because I do have very, very red eyes. This is the nude eyeliner for me. The last product that is my holy grail product is a chapstick. I have permanently dry lips for life. They're just always caking and drying and it kills me. And my current favorite chapstick that I have like six of them laying around in various pockets and purses, it's the Burt's Bees Original Chapstick. I think it's the original. Yeah, just beeswax lip balm with vitamin E and peppermint. Nothing does it quite like this lip balm does for me. So finally for the rest of the products that I cannot live without, I'm going to take you through the six brushes that I require in my life. If all of my brushes were to disappear, these would be the six that I would want to have around. The first one is the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. Nothing blends out foundation and concealer quite like this one. It's the best one I've ever used. I haven't used any of the Morphe ones, which people seem to rave about a whole lot, but in my opinion, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. It's just so soft and amazing and just so good at blending out everything. It just makes you feel like a magical soft pillow of softness. I don't know. It's just great. It's such a great brush. For bronzer, I have been obsessed with the e.l.f. stipple brush. I used to have another stippling brush that I had just randomly bought from Walmart, but I found this e.l.f. one for $3 and it is just incredible. I use it for all of my bronzing needs. For anything powder related, my recent favorite has been the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. This one does all of the highlighting and face powdering and setting. It's the perfect size to like get into all the nooks and crannies but then not too small that you can't just do all over powdering with as well. It's an amazing brush. The MAC 217 is the one eyeshadow brush that I would need for all of my blending eyeshadow needs. It's an amazing brush. The Sigma E35 brush, I believe, is a dupe. It's just not quite as soft, not quite as like long living as this one. I don't know. Nothing quite beats the MAC 217 brush, if you know what I'm saying. If you have one, you'll know what I mean. I require an eyeliner brush in my life because I do like to do the faux eyeliner. That's kind of my go-to thing. That's my like signature eye look. The eyeliner brush that I've been loving is the Delium Tools number 763 brush. And I've been loving this one because it's quite long. Like it's very thin. You can do a really thin, precise little flick with it, but then it's also really long. So you don't have to like work too hard. It's kind of like you just press it on and a line draws itself. It's a really great brush. And then finally, I require a little buffing brush to do my little eyebrow trick. If you guys watch my eyebrow tutorial, you will know that I use a little brush to kind of buff out the inner part. And I feel like that makes such a huge difference with my eyebrows that I just feel like I need to toss in a brush as a holy grail item. The brush that I use is the Still Spot Essentials 009 Smudger Brush. I got this bad boy at Walmart. I'm pretty sure it was like five or six dollars. It's a really lovely little brush. I use it for doing 
doing that inner part of my eyebrows and I also sometimes use it to highlight as well. Yay for multitasking! So those are all of my holy grail essential products, products that I could not live without. If all my makeup disappeared, these would be a very large pile of products that I would purchase right away. That is a full face of products. Those are my top picks, my current favorites, my all-time favorites. Ladies and gentlemen, those are my must-have products. I'm sorry for the lack of effort put into my hair and makeup today, but I just couldn't be bothered. I hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless. As always, let me know all of your video recommendations in the comments down below, and feel free to check out that description box for all the information you need. All right, I'm gonna go take a nap now because Lord knows I need one. Thanks for watching this video, everyone, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Oh, that was weird. <laughs>